I am Vanessa, and I live in a van, and her name is Treasure. I just got through talking to Gamer, and he was telling me about that fish that I had yesterday, and I was like, boy, let me go get some. So we got the fish. We got uh, coleslaw. They didn't give me no tartar sauce, but they gave me some ketchup. And I got some lemons. Let's say I'll grace. This is my first meal of the day. I haven't had anything to eat today. Nothing to drink. Nothing to eat. Nothing to drink. So this is my first meal of the day. Father God, we thank you for this food. We're about to receive your blessings, your kindness, your mercy, your grace. All the provisions you made up on our life, Lord Jesus. Everything you've done, everything you're about to do, Father God. Protect us against all hurt, harm, and danger. Let no weapon formed against us prosper. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Girl, let me take a picture of this. Let me take a picture of this for the gram. I'm trying to do it for the gram. How are y'all doing today? I don't have no regular wet wipes. So I'm just going to wipe my hand off with this facial wet wipe. Y'all come on in. Leave a comment. I left the chat open so Gamer can talk to me. Thank you, Miss Charlene, for buying this food. She sent me some money yesterday for some gas and to give me something to eat and she sent me enough girl so she paid for this meal too thank you miss charlene thank you appreciate you so girl i'm about to take a bite i'm i'm about to raise this fish up i need y'all to see this oh there go the tartar sauce and the ketchup i thought i thought they didn't give me no tartar sauce y'all i talked about her i talked about her there it is the tartar sauce and the other ketchup. The other ketchup was better than the ketchup that come in the pack. Let me let y'all see this. Fish, coleslaw, and fries. Everything looks good. It's hot. They don't drop the fish. And let me tell y'all something. It's not on the menu. It's not on the menu of the drive-thru. So you have to ask for it. And she might not know what you're talking about because Gamer was like, she didn't act like she knew what she was talking about. She, I don't think they know know about it. So, mmm, mmm. The fr fries are hotter than they were yesterday. I told Gamer, I say this look better than it. This look better than it did yesterday. Mmm. I'm about to take a bite of this fish. We're going to see what this fish do. Hey, Miss Valley. Hey, Miss Demisha. Mmm. Here's the fish. Mm. Y'all see how thick that crust is? Mm. I don't know what kind of crust this is, y'all. Mmm. The crust is crusting. But the crust was crusting a little bit more yesterday. But it's still, the fish is hotter. And the fries are hotter. Mmm. It's good. Y'all definitely need to try this catfish from 
Papa's Barbecue. I never knew. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. Yeah. I got food in my refrigerator. That's probably gonna go bad. I probably need to put it in the freezer. Cause I ain't had my freezer plugged up for a couple of days. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. Yeah. How are you doing this evening? Hey, Miss Carolyn. I see you eating fish coleslaw. Mm-hmm, girl. Mm-hmm. This is my first meal of the day. If y'all don't like eating, munching, crunching, chewing sounds, if you think I don't have no manners, and you don't want to see me eat, just not the video for you, girl. Mm. Come back. And watch the next video. Anytime you see me eating. If you don't like me eating, you don't have to tell me about it. Just don't watch it. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Where is Gamer at? He is the one. That made me go get this. Mm, mm, mm. Lena said, I like eating videos, mukbangs. I'm eating tender chickens, tender ranch dressing. You have a drink to go with it. I ain't ordered no drink, y'all. I was trying to be cheap. My food was $32 yesterday, girl. This was 19 something. I didn't have, to, mm -mm. This platter was 19. I don't know how much it was with her. I was trying to do this on the cheap. Just get some food. I need water anyway. I did get some ice. Hold on. to take this, put this water in the <sighs> This is my first meal of the day, y'all. So, listen, girl. I'm not trying to talk. I'm trying to eat. By the way, if y'all never tried those chili cheese fries from Deku Country, they was really good. Only $2.99. I think it's worth it. 
Mm -hmm. Thumbs up the live stream, please. Gamer, I am here. That fish looks doggone good. Did you? I done ate the first piece already. So I'm here to talk to y'all about the auction. The car auction. If y'all want to bid on those vans, I think the, the auction for the van is tomorrow. I went and looked on the website. And it said Wednesday. So. Mm, if y'all want to bid on those vans. The auction is tomorrow. Do anybody have any questions about the auction? I put out a video this afternoon at 6 p.m. Showing you the vans that they have up for auction. You can stand up in them. I'm getting full, y'all. I'm probably going to have to save this other piece of fish. Anybody have any questions about the auctions? OMG. I don't even like fried fish. <laughs> but that crunch, girl. I don't know what kind of crunch this is, but it is a real crunch. And I need them to give me more coleslaw. I need a bigger thing of coleslaw. I'm not understanding why they give so little coleslaw. Like the coleslaw is almost the same size as the ketchup. This is my first meal of the day. Usually when you're starving, you get full fast. I am full. So. I'm going to eat some more fries. And I'm probably going to save this other piece of fish and fries for later. I might end up eating it later on tonight. So we're going to talk about the auction. And buying a car from the auction. Anybody got any questions? Hey, Miss Eloise. I hope all is well. Anybody got any questions about the auction? Hey there. Um, Audrey, I think that's how you pronounce your name. Queen B say good evening, everyone. Pray all is well. All is well, girl. That crunch is coming through. How do you like van life? Uh, I love it. Hey, Miss Ruby. I like the tie dye. It's pajamas. One of my subscribers sent me this years ago. A couple of years ago. Thumbs up the video. I love ice cold water. If I missed your comment. Hello, hello. I'm just going to start from the bottom. Okay, y'all, I put out a, a couple of videos the last few days about the auction. If you guys are looking for a van, y'all can go to the auction and get one. So if you plan on saving some money, like me, 
I'm trying to save some money, but it's hard when you need it to live off of. <laughs> it's hard. I didn't want to put no lemon on my fish because I don't want to make it soft. I don't want to make my fish soft. But they did give me some lemon. I'm probably just going to suck them butt. Mm. Ooh. I got some carrot cake left. And y'all, that carrot cake was so good. Highly recommend you getting some carrot cake from Papa's Barbecue. And I highly recommend the fish. Like, the fish is probably about to be my new favorite. Y'all know I get stuck like Chuck. When I find something I like, I get stuck. I order it over and over and over and over. Y'all gonna be like, dang, Vanessa, can you order some ribs? I see I told you get something sweet with it. Hey, Miss Crystal. Anybody have any questions? Hey, Los Angeles. Hey, everybody. I'm not going to be able to call all y'all names separately. Uh, do anybody have any questions about the vehicle at auction? The auction is tomorrow and Thursday. They had cars, they had trucks, they had buses, they have cranes, <laughs> they have box trucks. Whatever you want, they got something. Uh, you have to go to the website. They have several auctions. They're having one in Humble, Texas tomorrow, but it's online. You have to go to rbauction.com. They're often auctioning off items here in the Houston area. Uh, please tell us where it is. It's online. rbauctions.com It's going to be for the items in the Houston area. Go check out the videos on the channel. I went and looked at the the uh, items in person yesterday. So if you go check out the video, let me put the video in the chat. If you go check out the video that came out not too long ago, you can see the vehicles in person, the vans in person. that are gonna be up for auction tomorrow. So you can watch, you can watch this video after the live stream is over with. I just put that video out at 6 p.m. I went to go look at the vans in person and I did videos and I got more videos coming for upcoming auctions 
so you will know how it works. If you're not ready now, they're going to have another auction in June. They're going to have a couple of more auctions this year. So if you're not ready right now, you don't have your money together. I always tell y'all, the time to look for a vehicle is when you broke. So right now, the time to look for a van is when you broke. That's what I'm doing, girl. I ain't got no money. I ain't got no money for no van. But I'm looking now. I'm looking. I'm showing y'all. I'm passing on information to y'all. I could keep this information to myself. But I'm trying to help somebody else that might have some money right now. You might have some money. You might be ready for a van. You might have thought you couldn't afford a van because you're seeing how much money they're charging for used vans. These same vans, the dealership is charging twenty. Five and thirty thousand dollars for vans with a hundred and twenty and a hundred and thirty and a hundred and sixty thousand miles on it. You better go to the auction and buy these vans for ten, fifteen thousand dollars. You're probably gonna get one for less than fifteen thousand dollars. Same van. Let me see what y'all are saying. Got it. Thank you. Uh, $25,000. That is what the dealers, the dealers go to these auctions and buy them. And they turn around and sell them for $25,31. Uh, the main, the one the recently when me and Miss Charlene and Miss Pauline was looking for a van, one dealership had a yellow one like mine. And they wanted a hundred, no, they wanted thirty-seven thousand dollars for it, and it was used. Thirty-seven thousand dollars, it was used. Go to the auction to get you one. That I'm saving my pennies. I don't know how long it's gonna take for me to get my pennies together. Y'all thumbs up the live stream. We have a hundred and thirty-one people in the house and forty-two thumbs up. I'm saving my pennies. Oh, you are putting us onto the game. Yes, girl, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. I'm, that's where I'm getting my van from when and if. If God don't let somebody get me a van, because, you know, somebody could just contact me and say, Vanessa, I got an RV. I got a, a van. I got a school bus. Do you want it? And I'm going to say, yep. <laughs> I'm going to say, yep. You never know. You never know where your blessings going to come from. That's why you never hate on nobody else and try to stop their blessings. Because you never know what blessings God have for you around the corner. Sometimes you hating on other people and you're wondering why you don't never get blessed. Because you hating on other people's blessings. Do you already have a van? Uh, D.I.D. You need to just go back and watch the channel. Uh... The name of the channel is Vanessa's Van Life Journey. I have a van. I live in a van. So if you're new to the channel, please go back and just binge watch the channel. And you will get a lot of your questions answered. That way, I'm here to just talk about uh, the vehicles up for auction tonight. So if you have a lot of questions and you're new to the channel just go binge watch. I can share a playlist with you where you can catch up on a lot of the channel. You just binge watch this playlist and it will answer a lot of your questions. This is the playlist for new subscribers. And you could just binge watch this and it'll answer a lot of questions for you. Miss Lena say, I need a van. Miss Lena. Uh, Miss Lena, uh, I'm trying to tell you, like, what's your budget for a van? 
What is your budget? What is your budget? Because y'all might think that a van is out of reach. Like right now, you seeing how high vans is. If you go to a dealership, if you go to a dealership and you see these vans, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars, you thinking, oh, I'll never do van life. These vans are too high. And then you find out about an auction like this, and you could possibly get a van for ten or fifteen thousand dollars. The yellow one that I showed y'all a couple of when was it it went out let me find the video it went out for thirteen thousand dollars that is a good deal where is that van let me show y'all oops wrong where is that van it went out for thirteen thousand dollars this van right here went out for thirteen thousand dollars yellow Penske retired van, great condition, body in excellent condition, interior in excellent condition, sounded good, seats in excellent condition. It turned on, it ran good. $13,000, y'all. Now, it had 167,000 miles on it. I'm not scared of vehicles with a lot of miles. This van. When I bought it, it had 270,000 miles on it. This van currently have 307,000 miles on it. So if I have a van that I could stand up in, it's probably going to be my forever home. Because I'm probably not going to end up needing another van. It's probably going to be my forever home. $13,000 for a van that you could stand up in. Eventually, down the line, you might have to change the transmission. You might have to change the motor. But that's with any vehicle. That's with any vehicle. Hey, Miss uh, Devana. Right. I want y'all to not be afraid of vehicles with miles. Some people saying, oh, that van have too many miles on it. N no, no, it don't. No, it don't. It's, it was built to put a lot of miles on it. And... It could take some more miles. It could go. It could probably go up to like five hundred thousand miles, right? I don't have one because I just became unable to work. I am trying to save as much as I can. Anybody else got any questions about the vans at auction? If you can't get one now, do you have questions for future auctions that are coming up so, so you can have the information you need that will make you more prepared to bid on a vehicle in the future? Y'all need to watch the auction tomorrow. See how much those vans go out for so you can get your money together. Y'all already know I'm coming to you with the information. I'm going to let you know how much they sell for. Uh, you got some fish, girl. Yeah, girl, I ate the fish. I ate one piece and some fries. And I just got to eat my carrot cake. This was my first meal of the day. I haven't had anything to eat all day. I've been in the van. Since I left y'all this morning, I laid down. I took a nap. I got up. I started editing. I am trying to get this video to upload. Girl, it's been a whole hot mess. I am making some baked mac and cheese. Sound good. Hey there. Mingo. Ming. Thumbs up the live stream. I'm here to talk about the auction that is going on tomorrow and Thursday here in Houston. And they are auctioning off all kinds of vehicles, not just vans. They have trucks. They have cars. They have little small Fords. If y'all are in need of a vehicle and you are in the Texas area, I think it's even worth to come drive down a couple of hours drive. They uh, have 
I'm trying to think. I was thinking about somebody else that I knew needed a car. Uh, they have two days left of the auction. I think they had an auction today. They have one tomorrow. And I think the vans are going to be auctioned off tomorrow. And then they have another one on Thursday. Uh, you have seven days to pay for the vehicle after it's auctioned. After you win the bid, you got seven days to come up with the money. If you have credit cards, if you got good credit but you ain't got no cash, girl, they take credit cards. You can divide the payment on multiple credit cards. Uh, you have 14 days to pick up the vehicle after you pay for it. After you pay for it, I think it's 14 days to pick it up. Every day after that, you get charged $25. So, you need to bid on it, pay for it, and take it. I know if I bid on my, my van, I'm going to get my van. Girl, I want my van the same day. I don't want nobody else getting in and out my van. And uh -uh, I want my van the same day that I win the bid. I'm going to be right over there paying for it and picking it up. Same day. I want my van the same day. So anybody else that is looking for a van for van life? Anybody else have any questions? Anybody else have any questions? That's what I'm here for. And you might as well ask your questions now because future auctions are coming up and you need to be prepared. Like if you plan on buying a van this year and you think you want to try to purchase one from this auction, they have them in different states as well. I think they have uh, a Richie Brothers in... I know they have one in Fort Worth. I know they have one in Vegas. And I think, let me see. I think they have one in Tennessee or something like that. Let me see. Let me see what are, where are they locations at. Menu auctions. Upcoming auctions. Okay. Uh, they have them in Canada. MD. What is MD? No, MB. What is MB? I think that's Canada because they got Canada next to the MB. Um, let me see what other locations. I just clicked on locations. Okay, uh, auction sites are Georgia. Look like these isn't some no. Georgia, Illinois, Ohio, Colorado, Detroit, Michigan, Fort, Fort Worth, Texas, Houston, Texas. Uh, Missouri. Okay. What is that? Oklahoma. Okay. Lincoln. N N E. Los Angeles, California. Midland, Texas. M D. 
Indy. Look like they got one in Japan, Tennessee, CT, OK, Florida, Phoenix, PA, Sacramento, Utah, Spokane, Washington, uh, Tallahassee, Florida, Tipton, California, Toronto, Um, so I don't know why they don't have Vegas on here. I thought I seen, oh, yes, they do. No. Oh, yes, they do. Las Vegas, Nevada. So they only have one in Las Vegas. In Texas, we have like three, Fort Worth, Texas, Houston, Texas, Midland, Texas. So if you are in the Texas area, you can find one that's closest to you. Uh, but if you're if you're in Texas, if you're in Austin, Dallas, San Antonio, you could just be it on and online, or you could just drive your butt down, take the weekend off, take a take a couple of days off, take a week off, drive down here, come look at it in person before the auction. Bring your money or have access to a bank. And if you, uh, the lady said, if you pay with a cashier's check, they deposit the cashier's check immediately. So the cashier's check actually have to clear before you could take the vehicle. Anybody else got any questions about buying? A vehicle from the auction. Uh, Miss All in My World say, okay, y'all, have a good night. You have a good night. Thanks for being here. Miss Gladys say, Orlando, Florida. Uh, Canada. I am 5'2". I am thinking I could be able to drive a big vehicle. Yes, girl, you could drive a big vehicle? Miss Charlene and Miss Pauline is short. Miss Charlene is how tall is Miss Charlene and Miss Pauline? They short. Miss Pauline could drive. You see Miss Pauline in that big old thing. And Miss Pauline and Miss Charlene. Girl, stop it. You being short don't have nothing to do with you driving a vehicle. Once you go to a a a, a, a vehicle that you could ride up high and you will never go back girl i don't never want to drive a little small vehicle again marilyn you have such a beautiful spirit it is my prayer that you receive all that your heart desires god bless you thank you girl Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all thumbs up the video. I am here to answer any questions that y'all have about the auction. If you plan on buying a vehicle in the future and you think this auction looks interesting, even if you need another vehicle, I have videos coming out showing you all the other vehicles that they had. They had trucks. They had cars, they had school buses, they have tractors, they have box trucks, they have vans. If you name it, they got it. So they had a little bit of everything. So if you're just in need of a regular vehicle and you in Texas, girl, don't go to the them little used dealerships that's going to jip you off and you're going to be paying for that car like four years like you're paying for a new car. Go to the auction. Start them cars, take a mechanic with you, learn what you need to look for. The cars are running. After you get it, go take it to get a tune-up. Go take it to get the oil change. You know, put some money in it. You, you saving money so you can afford to put some money in it. 
You can afford to go get new tires if it need new new tires. You can afford to go get an oil change because you just save. Like these dealerships be charging you two and three times the amount that they buy it for at the auction. You could afford. You gonna save so much money, girl. I'm telling you, these same vans, the dealerships, I'm telling y'all, listen to me. I took y'all to, let me show y'all. I took y'all to this place. And I took y'all to this place last year. They sell the box trucks. They had them box trucks for 30 something thousand dollars, y'all. They going over there and buying them. Box trucks going out for $10,000. Box. If I wanted to do a box truck, I, I might do a box truck, y'all. The box trucks going. I'm going to eventually do a box truck. The box trucks is going out for $10,000. Anybody want to build out a box truck? Box trucks going out for $10,000. You know how much room that's going to be? I'm trying to convince Gamer to come get his butt and do van life with me. Gamer, you need a box truck. We're going to build out a box truck for Gamer, y'all. Can you imagine building out a box truck? Maybe I need to do a box truck. Is is the box trucks going out for cheaper? Uh, hey, Miss Carolyn. Miss Carolyn, say, Hey, Vanessa, how are you doing? I am here. I am. Hey, Miss Alice, how you doing, girl? You leaving already? You just came in to say hello. We got 153 people in the house. Can we get uh, to 100 thumbs up, please? I am here to answer any questions that you might have about the auction. I had put a video out earlier today, this afternoon. Uh, the auction is being held tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday. I'm about to share this link in the chat. This is the video. If you guys are looking for a van, a cargo van, a van that you could stand up in. I mean, I don't put just as much. Let me tell y'all, if you don't have no money, don't be in a rush. Save your money. I don't put just as much in this van that I could go buy one of them vans. I might, like, girl, when I do get another van, I'm turning around and selling this van. Somebody would like a van that's already built out. Somebody might want to put a new motor in it. Somebody might, it might be a mechanic, want to uh, put a new motor in it, put a, you know, a transmission in, then turn around and sell it for more money. I don't know, but I am going to sell this van because I need the money. If I don't sell the van, then I'll just pull everything off of it that I could possibly use. And who knows? I don't know what I'm going to do with the van if I don't sell it. But I'm going to sell this van. I'm going to sell this van because I need the money, girl. I need the money, honey. Hey, Miss May. Goodness, that looks good. Please put please put spaces between your words because I can't understand what you're saying. Hey, Miss Barbara, I want a van, but I am in North New York. They have uh, the vans in different cities, but go on a website. And they also ship them to you, too, if you want to pay to have it shipped to you. But this is what I would do. If I was in another state that I will find a place that has one closest to me. I look on it, look online, see which ones look good. And one thing about y'all having me as a friend, I'm your eyes and your ears. So you can say, Vanessa, I want a van, you in Houston. I'll pay you to go look at a van for me and FaceTime me and let me see the van and then I can make a decision on which one I want to bid on because I'm your eyes and your ears. I'm going to go look for it for you. 
and then you will know which one to bid on and then you bid on it you got seven days to pay for it and then fly your butt down here and come pick up your van fly your butt down here uber over there and pick up your van and leave like if you're gonna save more money flying down here and buying a van opposed to going to a dealership and paying twenty three and thirty thousand dollars for a used van just because they're so popular and just because they know everybody is getting the vans to build them out so they raising the cost of the van up so high just because people want to do van life go to the auction and get your own van they asking for you to put almost half of what they paid down they want you to put five to eight thousand dollars down on it and you can get it from the auction for ten fifteen thousand you got the cash some of y'all already got some of y'all already got ten to fifteen thousand dollars you've been saving up and you thought you was gonna need thirty thousand dollars but now you find out you just need like ten fifteen you probably already got it girl you probably already got it. Any questions from anybody about buying a vehicle from the auction? They had more than just vans. They had cars. They had trucks. They had school buses. They had tractor trailers, forklifts, 18-wheelers. Anybody want an 18-wheeler? You driving... 18 wheelers for another company they charging you so much to release to lease that cab you could just go to the auction you making good money driving 18 wheelers you can go to the auction and buy your own 18 wheeler buy your own cab they got them for sale and it's a lot of people out there buying them and i think they like i think i seen them going for like 20 and thirty thousand dollars for use i don't know what they call a part that you you pull the 18 wheeler with is it the cab i don't know anyway i'm just coming on here to answer some questions for y'all if you are new to the channel welcome 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 thank you for joining me i have a playlist for new subscribers You can watch this playlist and catch up on the channel and see what's going on on the channel. If you watch that playlist, it will probably answer a lot of your questions. So you can watch that playlist. And if you are interested in purchasing a vehicle for van life, you want to do van life in the future, I suggest you watch the videos that I'm putting out, the series that I'm putting out about going to the auction, this is going to save a lot of people a lot of money. And, and then a lot of people will be able to get in a van that they could stand up in right away. Like instead of buying a regular van like mine that you can't stand up in for $10,000, you can go to the auction and get one for ten thousand dollars that you could stand up in so this is opening up the horizon and the options for a lot of people to be able to get into van life to be able to do van life do it on a budget you don't have a hundred thousand dollars to go buy for the gold spend on a new vehicle you don't have fifty and sixty thousand dollars to go spend on a new on a vehicle so you just have to get you a new a used van and build it out or do a no build bill when i get my next van i'm not building it out right away i'm gonna do a no build bill that means you're putting furniture in it a cot in it or whatever and you just rolling with it like that and then you work on your outside first. You work on your solar, your lights, your water tanks, your plumbing. You work on all that stuff before you start building it out. So I'm going to do a no bill bill. I ain't going to be in no particular hurry. Anybody got any questions? Ain't nobody talking to me. 
we have 124 people in here. I must be at I must be answering all y'all questions because ain't nobody asking no questions. So I must be asking, answering all y'all questions. So I just want to inform y'all. I want to share this information with y'all um, because I know a lot of y'all out there want to do van life. I know a lot of y'all out there think that a van is not in your budget. Yes, it is. Ten fifteen thousand dollars is in your budget. It's in your budget, and you gonna end up with a van you can stand up in, girl. You ain't gonna have to cramp. You are gonna be able to stand up. And guess what? For those of you who would want to build out a box truck, you will have even more room if you build out a box truck, girl. I might go. I think I need to go check out the uh, box trucks. I think I need to do a video for y'all on the box trucks. Uh, Miss Ruby say yes have a blessed night vanessa have a blessed night catch you later darling getting sleepy thank you miss ruby for coming in i appreciate y'all coming in because some of y'all live in the homes and y'all not gonna do van life but y'all just interested and y'all like watching me even though you're in home life so i appreciate y'all coming in here even though y'all ain't gonna buy, buy no van but uh i think i'm gonna go look at the box trucks soon even after the auction is over with they're still gonna have vehicles over there so i might go look at the box trucks and do a video on the box trucks because i took y'all to this place that sell box trucks and them people wanted like thirty thousand. dollars y'all was like vanessa get out of there <laughs> y'all was like vanessa <laughs> i think that man said thirty three thousand dollars that's the amount that they financing that man said thirty three thousand dollars and y'all was like vanessa get the heck up out of there thirty three thousand dollars and these uh, box trucks, same amount of miles. Them box trucks he was selling had high mileage. Over 100,000 miles. And he wanted $33,000. You know, it's going to be a lot of car dealerships. They're going to be mad at me. A lot of these people going to these auctions that is... Uh, selling these auctions to selling these vans to the general public and inflating the price they are going to be mad at me they're gonna be like what is she doing over there why is she doing that uh because i'm trying to help some people because y'all getting over on people y'all ain't even charging like five thousand dollars more y'all charging like two and three that you buying the van from the auction for ten thousand dollars and you're turning around and selling it for 30 and then you're charging people interest i'm telling oh i'm gonna tell <laughs> y'all thumbs up the video if y'all appreciate me sharing this best kept secret from these dealerships these dealerships are charging you two and three. They're not even charging you two times. They're charging you three times the amount that they're paying for these vehicles at auction. Plus interest. You're going to be in debt for the rest of your life when you could just save $10,000, $15,000, go to the auction. I promise you, you go to the auction with $10,000, $15,000, you coming out of there with something. You coming out of that with something. And the best thing about it is you can bid on it in the comfort of your own home. You could bid on it online and you can pre-bid. Like if you want to, you want to make sure you don't miss that auction. You want to make sure you don't miss the bid. You can pre-bid. You can bid before the auction starts. Like you could bid now. You could place a bid on there and you could put your maximum amount on there. And uh, see if you win the bid. So, 
anybody else have any other questions about buying a van that you can stand up in i have a video on the channel that i just uploaded at 6 p.m three hours ago buy your van from the auction these vans are being auctioned off tomorrow that's why i am live now if you are in texas you don't have to come down here you can watch this video see which ones i started up see how they looked and then you can go online and you can place your bid and then you can drive down hey miss charlene and then you can drive down and come and pick it up if you're in texas look at the video that i posted tonight see which one you want to bid on go bid on that van tomorrow and then drive down from austin drive down from fort worth drive down from dallas drive down from whatever little town you are in in texas and come and get that van if you have a van that you're doing van life in right now but it's not sufficient you can buy that van and then turn around and sell your van and that way you're not out of money that way you you have a little money like my van is worth something to somebody somebody would love this van that has been built out somebody would love this van that already have solar in it somebody don't know how to put no solar on out there somebody would love this van with lights in it refrigerator and stove in it uh propane tank in it already somebody would love this van as is so i can go buy me another van turn around and sell this one and have me some money and i've recouped something back for my troubles some i mean it's some people that's homeless that's living in their cars and they barely have enough room to move in their cars they would this 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 is like a mansion for some people who are living in the car I made sun-dried, hey, Miss Marie, made sun-dried tomato, pesto, chicken, and pasta and salad for dinner. Sounds yummy. Hey, Miss May, how are you doing? Anybody have any questions about buying a vehicle from the auction? I got too many lights on. It's hot up in here. I can't turn my fan on because... We didn't get no solar in today. Girl, I'm going to have to go to a campsite and get me uh, a couple of days plugging up to some electricity. <sighs> Anybody got any questions for me? I'm going to end the live at 10. Now is the time for y'all to take advantage of the free open form where you can ask questions about the auction, learn some information. No question is a dumb question. Your question might help somebody else. Somebody else might have the same question. So if you have any questions about buying a vehicle from the auction, let me know. And go on the website, Auction dot com and click on the one that says vans it's gonna say vans and something else click on that then narrow down your search i have another video where i show y'all how to i have another video where i show y'all how to is it this one
where I showed y'all how to narrow the search. And this van right here that I'm about to share with you, go check out this video. This van that I'm about to share with you just now, it sold at the auction for $13,000. It had 163,000 miles on it, body clean, inside clean, seats clean, looked very good. Air blowing hot, sounded good. Sold for $13,000 at auction. I don't think it was a long wheelbase like I wanted. I want a longer wheelbase. Uh, so I don't think it was uh, a long one. But for $13,000, girl, I'd have, I'd have swept up that van. So hopefully when I get ready to buy my van, we'll see. I, I'm not going to tell y'all. I might be buying a van tomorrow. If I was buying a van tomorrow, I'm not telling you. I'm not telling y'all when I'm buying my van, girl. You just going to have to wait and see. <laughs> Will you do a fixed bed in your next van? No, ma'am. Well, you're going to have to wait and see, Miss Ma Miss uh Marie. I don't want no fixed bed, but you're going to have to wait and see. Don't delete your comment, girl. Somebody else might need to see that comment. Uh, stop this, Vanessa. I appreciate you sharing, even though I don't. What you say? Stop this. Stop what? I don't even drive. <laughs> Girl, we need to let we need you to learn how to drive, girl. Will you do a permanent style bed in your next van? You're gonna have to wait and see, Miss Marie. I have a floor plan that is out of this world for my next van, and it's gonna have to be a surprise. But I'm not gonna do a van bill right away. And it depends like if i get a u-haul if i get a box truck then the floor plan is going to change so i'm still deciding whether or not i want a box truck or a van y'all i don't know i think i'm going to look at them box trucks the next time i go over there i'm going to look at the box trucks and do some videos for y'all for box trucks i deleted it because i thought i pronounced a word wrong girl you don't have to delete no uh no comments over here girl uh, vanessa be understanding vanessa speak ebonics i've been told that i speak ebonics so i could read it too <laughs> oh child but i i can't share my floor plan with y'all for my future vehicle because of course when y'all see me on tiny home tours again <laughs> <laughs> and they hate it when y'all see me on tiny home tours again y'all gonna have to be surprised girl i have to leave something for the imagination i have to leave something for the imagination So I'm going to end the live in seven minutes. So if anybody have any final questions about van life, about buying a van from the auction, this is an excellent opportunity for you to get a vehicle that you could stand up in off the bat. Even if you have to bid on it, pay for it, catch a plane down here. It's an excellent opportunity for you to get a vehicle that you could stand up in off the bat. And $10,000, $15,000, some of y'all are paying two times that much by going to dealerships and getting used vehicles. Save your money. If you know you wanna do van life, 
start purging your clothes, your household items, start start uh, having garage sales. If you want to get one of these vans that you could stand up in, you don't have to do a van bill right away. You can do a no bill bill and put stuff in there out of your house that you could fit up in there. So sell everything else. Uh, Miss Gwen, how are you doing? Miss Gwen say, I have a question. You can have an alarm system on your car if you want to. Uh, if you want to put an alarm system on your vehicle, that's totally 100% up to you. Uh, an alarm system is not going to protect you from somebody breaking into your vehicle if they want to break into your vehicle. But it helps to have alarm system, backup, and front cameras and all of that. Uh, but, I mean, the more security you have, the better. And some people, you know, if, if you hear a noise outside, you can always put the panic button on and make the alarm go off and possibly scare away crazy people that would attempt to break into your van. So the more security you have, of course, the better. I would definitely go get an alarm on my vehicle at a professional place. I've gotten alarms on cars before at these little rinky-dink places and child they be messing up your electrical system and stuff so make sure you go to, if you can go to the dealership and get an alarm system put on your car definitely do that hey there grinding grinding say i would love that but it's the renovation that i will be stuck with i want to start part-time van lifing uh, you shouldn't you shouldn't worry about a van bill get the van don't worry about the van bill get the van uh you don't have to do a van bill you can do a no bill van bill there are so many youtubers so many videos on youtube about a no bill van bill go watch some of those vehicle videos don't worry about a van bill that should be the least of your worries get the van if you don't do nothing but put a mattress up in there a cot up in there a cooler up in there you could part-time you want to do van life in the van before you do a bill anyway y'all putting the cart before the horse don't worry about a van bill get the van why worry about something before you even got a van? Why are you why are you worried about a van, Bill? You don't even have a van yet. Get the van. What does the Bible say? Uh, what does that scripture say? What is it? I'm, I'm missing the other part of the scripture where it say all these things will be added unto you. Just serve the Lord with all your heart and all these things will be added unto you. Just get the van and the rest is going to be history. You got to live in the van. You got to get a feel for van life. You got to see how you would want to have stuff arranged in it. When you get a van, you don't want to build it out right away anyway. You want to live in that van, traveling in that van, camping in that van, three months to six months up to a year before you even do a van bill when i get my next van i'm not doing a van bill right away i'm gonna do a no bill bill i'm gonna do a no bill bill y'all thumbs up the live stream we need seven more thumbs up I got one more minute. Anybody else have any questions? Do I help getting vans for a fee? Uh, I can help you and go look for it for you. Go show you which ones to get at the auction. Show them to you. 
I can do whatever you need me to do for a fee. But I ain't charging no I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna be doing all that running around for no pennies. And I'm not gonna always be in Houston. I'm getting ready to leave Houston now, so uh unfortunately I probably not will not be in Houston for another year. So every year I'm going to make my annual trip to Texas, but the videos are out there to help you help yourself. The videos are out here to enable you to make a informed decision for yourself. So you got the information, go to the website, check the website out, find what state is closest to you that's doing an auction and get your money together and do your due diligence what about the insurance is it like home insurance or car insurance uh miss gwen i can't answer that question for you that's going to be something that your everybody's state has different policies on insurance uh so that's something you're going to have to figure out on your own I can't, I am not a <laughs> insurance agent. I can't answer that question. So uh, you just gonna have to figure that part out. When you get to that part, you pay insurance on a vehicle, what? insurance is insurance. So you're gonna have to figure that part out when you get to it cross that bridge when you get to it some uh some insurance companies the insurance is cheaper on an rv than it is on regular vehicles because the vans uh the rvs are for recreational purposes i'm not an insurance agent so i cannot answer that question i'm just here to talk about going to the auction and doing a no bill bill and my experiences on YouTube in reference to insurance and all that in different states. I can't answer those questions because I'm not an agent and I don't feel comfortable advising people in those type of areas because from insurance company to insurance company, from your age, from your driving history, all of that is going to vary. So it is 1002 we need two we need four more thumbs up can i get four more thumbs up before i end the live i am an insurance agent and if you're not using the van for commercial purposes you can insure it as a personal vehicle three more thumbs up before i leave if you don't mind Somebody took one thumbs up back. Whoever thought you were giving me a thumbs up, you took it back. Can you please give me the thumbs up back? <laughs> we need four more thumbs up. I need four more thumbs up before I leave so we can get to 100. We need three more thumbs up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is there three more people out there? that can give me a thumbs up so I can have a hundred thumbs up before I end the line. Please, 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 please. Any other questions while we wait on those, on those three thumbs up? Any other questions? Okay, we have 101 thumbs up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate the Nutty Buddy Nation. Thank you guys for all your love and support. Thank you to Miss Charlene who sent me a cash app for some gas and some food. She treated me to lunch yesterday and I had enough money so I bought me some more food today. I went back and got fish. I got a whole piece of fish left and some fries. So I'm going to either eat this tonight or in the morning. I'll come live if I still have it in the morning. 
So thank you guys for all your love and support. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope the videos that I put out about the auction is helpful to you guys. I will share the link again to the video that came out earlier and it's showing the vehicles that are gonna be up for auction tomorrow. So if you are just curious, even if you are not ready to buy a vehicle, the time to shop is when you don't have a vehicle. The time to learn everything that you need to learn is when you don't have the money. So don't get frustrated and say, well, why should I go over there and look? I don't have the money right now. I'm looking. I don't have the money right now. I'm looking. And that's the time to look, to educate yourself, to inform yourself, to get a feel for what the prices are going to be, to see if it's something that you could afford, to see if it's something that you can save for the next the, in this next year. Even if you don't think you're going to get a vehicle to next year, I don't know when I'm going to get a vehicle. I might not get another van to next year. Now I'm educating myself and seeing how much of these vans are going to go out. When is the best time to buy it? Is it better to buy it in the summertime? Is it better to buy it in the wintertime? and save your money maybe looking at these vans will encourage you to say hey i could afford this sooner than later hey i don't have to get a cargo van that i can't stand up in i could for the same amount of money people are charging for the cargo vans i can go to the auction and get me a van to stand up in right off the bat isn't that amazing You'll be able to start van life with a van you could stand up in for less than $15,000. $15, That's a blessing. Can I get somebody to say thank you, Vanessa? Miss Rachel, say bye. I am going to start video over. Uh, I was in and out of here trying to take care of something so i missed a lot hey miss classic miss classic say good afternoon nutty buddy nation hey so this is the video of the vans that are they're auctioning off tomorrow go look at them y'all go look at it go see what you're gonna get what's gonna be auctioned off tomorrow and i'll let y'all know how much they end up auctioning off for so go check the video out look at it see what the vans look like See if it's something you will be interested in in the future. See if you think it's enough room up in there for you. Uh, I'm not sure if I stood up in them, but I will stand up in some more. I know I stood up in some, but I don't know if I recorded me standing up in there. But in the future, when I go, I'll stand up in them and show y'all, you know, how tall I am. I am 5'6". I know some people that are 6 feet that stand up in them. So all of this information is helpful to you and it may motivate you and encourage you because you might think you can't afford. Right now, you might think you can't afford a uh, van, but if you see how much they go out for auction, ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000, that might change your mind altogether and be like, I can do this. And I know you could do it. I could do it. You could do it we could do it and girl if you start van life with a van you could stand up in you're gonna be like oh child i'm glad i was watching vanessa channel i don't care what nobody say about her that girl know what she be talking about okay <laughs> okay and if you are new to the channel i also want you guys to watch this playlist if y'all have a lot of questions about different things i have videos where i've answered a lot of those questions in so this is the playlist for new members playlist for new members subscribers so this is the playlist for new subscribers Oops.
That's the playlist for new subscribers. If you are new to the channel, please binge watch that playlist. I have a lot of questions that are answered in there. When I bought my camper trailer, how much I bought my camper trailer for, um, uh, how much I bought my van for. I have a lot of videos in there that will be informative and help you on this journey of becoming a nomad or if you're just interested in watching nomads just go watch the playlist and leave some comments and let me know that you're watching the playlist in 2024 what month you're watching it in and let me know if you find that information informative still today i'm gonna talk to y'all later i need to go to the bathroom uh, I need to go throw some trash away. You, cha. Wow. That is a strong lemon. I need to go edit some videos. So I'm going to talk to y'all later because I've been working all day and I still got a lot of work to do. So I'm going to talk to y'all later. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Have a blessed and wonderful evening. Thank you, Miss Charlene, for buying my food the last two days. I appreciate you. I didn't go to the gas station to get no gas today, but girl, I got to go tomorrow because I'm almost on E. And y'all have a beautiful night and I love y'all. Thank you, Miss Classic. You have a wonderful night as well. I will see y'all in the morning on Vanessa VIPB for the morning prayer and probably to eat my fish. Good night, Miss Rachel. Love y'all. Bye. Thanks for watching.